Hey guys, it's Fistful Apothe, and today inside of this Monster Legends week video, I'm going to be going over the brand new Free Legends Pass Monster, as well as a few new events and skills. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so first of all, we have uh, the Alpine Era Season 6 event checklist. Almost all confirmed, we're just missing the Tails monster. But besides that, everything else is confirmed, and Killamancer is the Free Legends Pass monster. And that is who we are going to be looking at right here. Alright, so he has a single target possession, he also has an AoE and Nightmares, he also has an AoE and Nanovirus and Stamina Leak, which is actually a really good move right there. He also has a moderate metal damage to one enemy, and then he has a move right here that applies True Vision and gives 50% stamina to itself, and applies Celestial Paradise Hater to all allies. And then he also has a possession to one enemy and then to all enemies, which is pretty decent. And then he has a possession and nightmares to one enemy, and he has a metal damage to one enemy, and nanovirus and stamina leak to one enemy. So yeah, overall, pretty decent moves. I mean, none of them are super duper powerful, but he does have some pretty decent ones, like this nanovirus and stamina leak to all enemies. That is a pretty good move. And then this one right here, the true vision with stamina and celestial paradise hater can be good, but it really depends on what monsters you are going up against. If you are against monsters in this book, then it is very good since it gives it to all of your allies too. But if you're not going up against monsters in this book, it is just not very good. But yeah, some of his moves can work on any monster like the nanovirus stamina leak and then the AoE nanovirus stamina leak. And then the possession and nightmares. And then he does have an AoE possession as well, which is pretty great. And it also hits one enemy twice. So that is, of course, pretty great. But yeah, besides those ones, he's honestly not too amazing, but he is decent. He's definitely still worth getting out of the free Legends Pass. Since, of course, he is free, he is worth getting. Go and get Killamancer out of the Legends Pass. And now let's go and move on to the next stuff. So we have a new multiplayer monster named Jocko, and we have his traits right here. We got immune to possession, block resurrection, and nightmares at the start of the battle to all enemies. So honestly, kind of bad trait. I mean, the status caster is good, but the other two are just really bad. So yeah, he's just kind of bad trait. And then we have a new effect, Celestial Paradise Hater. It just makes you do extra damage against Celestial Paradise monsters. And that is, of course, what Killamancer has. And then we also have a Trick or Treat, which is going to be a new event where you can play three truths and a lie with monsters, apparently. So you'll just have to pick the lie out of the four different options it gives you. And if you get it right, you can get some rewards, which is pretty cool. And then we have another upcoming monster named Doc Clock Shock, which is a pretty cool name. I actually do like that name a lot. So yeah, I cannot wait to see what that monster is about. And he is apparently going to be a race monster, which is very cool. So yeah, that is pretty much all I have for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are most excited for and what you guys think of Killamancer. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.